all right, picture this, it's 7 a.m., the sun is barely up, and the first thing I do is stumble into my kitchen, desperate for my coffee fix. But here's the problem. I'm terrible at making it the same every time. Some days it's too strong, some days it's too weak, and other days it's just off. So I was getting fed up with the inconsistency, so I asked myself, what if I could build something that helped me make the perfect coffee every time? So that's what I did. I built a website. It tracks everything. Brewing time, temperature, water to milk ratio. And let me show you how I went from coffee disaster to coffee perfection. So before I started coding anything, I wanted to get super clear on what this coffee timer app actually was going to do. Instead of just scribbling down on a paper or opening another chaotic Notion doc, I used this tool called Mapify, who are also the sponsors of this video. It's an AI-powered mind mapping tool that literally turns your idea into a structured plan in seconds. And so far, the only plan I have is to create a coffee web app. So I typed out, I want to build a web app that helps me make the perfect cup of coffee every time by tracking brewing time, temperature, and water to milk ratio. You can even switch output languages, choose between a faster or more powerful model, or control how dense the information is. So this is something that I really like about Mapify. And boom, there it is. The whole project, I can see all my key features, my UI elements, my implementation plan. And I'm also going to generate some more ideas just for fun because I want to see what this app could do in the future as well. And side quest. But what I actually love about Mapify is the YouTube summarizer, which I have used quite often. So you can just drop in a video link, like I'm going to drop in my video link, and it automatically generates a clickable mind map with timestamps, which is super handy if you're researching or trying to study smarter. Same with PDFs. Plus, they've got browser extensions and mobile apps, so you can literally use them anywhere. So yeah, if you've got an idea in your head like I do with my coffee app and don't really know where to start, Mapify is a pretty sick way to get brain dump out and organize it instantly. Try it out with my link below and use the code MAPIFYGORS for 15% off. I'm also going to link it in the description box below. Now that we have our plan on Mapify, it's time to think about the design, which is the first step like here on Mapify. So I'm a minimalist, so I wanted something clean, simple and intuitive. And I tried to design it using Figma, which yeah, let's just say looked really ugly. I hated it. So instead, I switched to Canva to just generate a nice background for me. Yes, it's AI art. And after using Figma for a while, I was like, wait, what if I just design everything in Canva? Because each step was becoming even harder in Figma. So I decided to do a separate screen for every single step. And to start simple, I decided to focus on just latte style coffee for now. So I listed out all the steps, adding coffee, pouring water, stirring, pressing the French press, pouring the milk, the works. And here's a cool part. When I add the water to the French press, I want my web app to automatically start a four minutes timer. This means no switching to my default timer app and it's all built in. So I literally don't need to do anything. With the designs done and my Canva hack in place, it was finally time to code. I picked Next.js for this project mainly because I already knew I wanted to deploy it with Vercel and with Next, that's literally just two clicks. Plus, I'm familiar with the stack and didn't really want to overcomplicate things. This was supposed to be chill. So I fired up a fresh project and started with the basic layout, just a landing page and a button to start the coffee flow. And then I knew I wanted to do this like vibe coding style. So I decided to use Claude to help me come up with the basic page first. And then yes, reality hit. The code was super messy and everything was just in one file. So I spent some time refactoring whatever the AI came up with because I like my code to be pretty clean and just everything separated in smaller files so it's easier to read. The first version of the site looked pretty bad and kind of like 2006 Blogspot ugly, but that's okay. I always try to remind myself whenever I do these coding projects that make it work first and then make it pretty. So I decided to focus on functionality. The timer was the main thing I wanted to implement. I needed a four minute countdown that started automatically once I poured the water into the French press. I didn't want to rely on the phone timer. It had to be built in and smart enough to only start when the user hit a specific step. So I added some state management using use state and use effect like React tools and wired it into a basic countdown function. First attempt, yep, it broke. 
But after some tweaking, I got it working. Smooth countdown, responsive UI, and life's good. Each screen is a component that loads based on the current step and the buttons navigate forward. Simple logic, but surprisingly satisfying when it worked. So once the logic was there, I thought I could polish it up real quick. Huh, I was wrong. First up, the background. Originally it was black, like pitch black. So it gave really hacker vibes and I didn't want that. I wanted it to look like the designs we had come up with. So I swapped it for the warm gradient we made on Canva. I then wanted to tackle the fonts. I wanted them to be soft, rounded, kind of cafe vibe. But Tailwind's default font setup refused to work. Like I literally wasted 10 minutes fighting this random font bug. And then I just went, you know what? I'm going to do this old school style. So I switched to using basic CSS and finally got it looking fine. I also realized then that my timer was not making any sounds when it was done, which was kind of important. I didn't want to just look at the timer. I wanted it to nudge me when the coffee was done. So I added a simple ding sound and shortened the timer to 10 seconds just for testing. And seems like it works. So moment of truth, I'm going to push this to the cell and within seconds, boom, the site is live. I pulled it up on my phone, standing there in my kitchen and honestly, kind of surreal. It actually works. The screens flow pretty nicely. I'm showing this on my phone right now and the timer buzzed when it was supposed to. And I could finally make a cup of coffee without switching between a timer app, a note and doing mental math at 7am. But I'm not going to lie, there are still a few rough edges that I'm not very happy with. The font post-deployment looks really ugly. It looked fine locally, but on my phone, it just turns into like a very ugly, unreadable type of font. And then I left the timer at 10 seconds when I deployed it for testing. So unless I want my drink to be super extracted rocket fuel, I need to change it back to 4 minutes. But you know what? That's a problem for tomorrow's gory. So tonight, I'm just happy that this thing exists. What started off as a half-asleep thought that I need to fix my coffee routine somehow turned into a fully functioning web app in like less than an hour. So just a little personal win and one of those projects that is actually going to make my day a bit smoother. So yeah, that was about an hour. If you've ever had this random thought that I wish this existed moment and thought about building it, I hope this gives you a little push that even if it's just for yourself, those are sometimes the most satisfying things to make. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you sticking around to the end and I will see you in the next one. Catch you later.